Hello and welcome to the seventh video in our Plywood Mangrove Aquarium series. Carrying on from the last video, which you can see by clicking the link that should be on the screen now. Today we are going to go over the process of first coating the surrounding concrete, applying resin and then finally painting everything to finish the surround. To start off with, we're going to mix together some concrete with a mix of five part builder sand to one part fast drying cement and then adding water until we have the right consistency to be able to apply it by hand. Picking any part of the surround to start on, simply scoop out some concrete, place it on the foam and then work it in across the surface with your hand. A good set of builders gloves is ideal for this as they give good purchase as well as offering protection for your hands for subsequent coats whereby there might be some sharp chunks of concrete left sticking out. Make sure to cover every bit of visible foam with the concrete as any parts of the foam that is left uncovered might melt away when covered in resin. After the first coat of concrete has been allowed to dry completely, apply a second coat on top of it which will slightly smooth out the surface and give a nicer finish. Again make sure to cover the entire surface. Once the second coat is dried, we can move on to coating everything in resin to both strengthen it and waterproof it at the same time. Starting with the outside of the surround, mix together your resin of choice making sure to follow the mixing ratio precisely. The resin we used is a 1 to 1 mix polyurethane resin from Tomps.com and there's a link in the description below. Using a wide brush, apply the resin all over the outside of the surround working quickly as you don't want to waste the resin by taking too long and having it start to cure inside whatever container you're using. To start out we're going to base coat everything with a grey paint which we can then dry brush and apply washes on the top of to get our final rock effect. Now for the base you should try and use a few different tones of grey as we don't want everything to be one flat uniform colour. Some variation will give a much better final effect. For our surround we've gone with a two colour base.
Once the outside has been done and left to cure, we can move on to the inside of the surround. Now as this is all nice and smooth MDF, we're going to use a roller to speed up the application process. Just like the outside, you want to apply the resin all over and then leave it to cure. Once all of the resin is cured, you can move on to painting the rock effect. Once the base is dried, we're then going to dry brush on a much lighter grey on top of it to bring out all of the raised surfaces around the surround. For this, you want to try and get a little bit of paint on the end of your brush and then you need to try and wipe off as much of it as possible using some paper towel or similar. Once you've wiped away most of the paint, then you lightly brush over the surface of the surround and watch how the ridges start to pop. Do this all over the surface and again you might want to use a few varying shades of grey going all the way to white to really bring out the stone effect. Once you're happy with your paintwork, then you need to seal the paint so it won't rub off whenever someone touches the surround. For this we're going to use a clear matte varnish that can just be brushed on top of the paintwork. Make sure to cover everywhere that's been painted with the varnish, then once it's dried you're done. This surround will really improve the overall look of wherever the setup is placed. With ours we've decided to add the tablet mount to the front of it so it will work as a serving till point within the pet shop. If you enjoyed this video then please leave us a like. If you have anything that you change, please tell us in the comments below. And if you want to see more great projects like this, as well as the final few steps in finishing off the aquarium, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.